is the fourth day of the seven days campaign to replace hate with love. Today's theme was Connect, and it was special for high school students in the Blue Valley District. They got to hear the remarkable story of a woman who survived the Rwandan genocide. There have always been people who stand up and try to do the right thing. People doing the right thing helped Jacqueline Muir Katete survive Rwanda's 100 day genocide in 1994. Jacqueline was just nine years old when the Hutu government began executing Tutsis like her and her family. Today, Jacqueline joined the Seven Days Movement in an effort to make meaningful change. As a survivor of a genocide, I feel like I have to be at the forefront of fighting hate and racism and extremism. Seven Days is an effort to counter the hate that prompted the Jewish Center shootings of a year ago in Overland Park. Three people died, including Blue Valley High School student Reet Underwood. As adults and parents in your world, we want to shelter you from evil and hate. But unfortunately, we could not do that last April. And so the students listened to Jacqueline's story today, transfixed by what she went through at such a young age, and amazed at how she's come through to share her painful but triumphant journey. It shows us the power of believing in love and of believing that we can overcome hate. And I really think that students, especially here in the Blue Valley, and everybody that's heard her story, really, it really resonate with them and it really make the ripple that it's going to change the world. Jacqueline lost all of her immediate family and most of her extended family in the genocide. She was granted asylum in the United States back in 1995 to come live with an uncle. Jacqueline only started speaking about what happened to her after a Holocaust survivor spoke at her high school. And we want to see what you're doing to mark seven days of kindness. Send us pictures or tweet us video of how you are making the community better. Use the hashtag WeAreKC.